Leads the way. It's the lightly raced Lonro filly on top. She's out a length and a half clear. Universal scene given a backhander. Dante Secret down on the rail. Trailed in turn on the fence by Mega Factory. Johnson Porter's having to get to work on Pinzu. The leader's absolutely cruising up to the corner. Jester Jingle. And further back is Roth, the top Angels Force, and then Young George. The filly, the run to one to run down though at the 250. Jester Jingle roll back to the fence. Pinzu starts to close the margin as Harvey draws the whip. Jester Jingle the leader a half three quarters Pinzu grabbing it here comes Roth the Toff mega factory Pinzu hit the front Roth the Toff lunging at it on the outside didn't get there Pinzu just prevailed Pinzu. very consistent galloper this one but you must be happy to get the win yeah for sure he's um been a little bit disappointing to punters I guess he's um been favourite a few times and got rolled but he um today he was able to um to stick his head out and he chased really hard it was good to see still seems to have a couple of quirks we saw Clint have to change the whip on a couple of occasions there is this still a learning time well, he's only a three-year-old, I guess, and he's not carrying the minimum. He's carrying a little bit of weight, and I guess looking at his pedigree, he's got the potential to get further. So, look, if he's just a short course horse, well, he's probably only going to win a couple of races. But if he can stretch out a little bit, well, you just never know um, with a bit of maturity and time. The rest of the family did come on as older horses. So, you know, we're, we're hopeful. A lot of ifs and buts there, but what's your belief? Do you think he, he will be able to go on with it a little bit? Oh, look, if he can race up to his some of his work that he produces, um, he, he's more than capable. So, look, as a, as a more mature sort of four- and five-year-old, you just never know. But, you know, time will tell. He's, he's had a few expectations on him. He was quite an expensive um, yearling colt and he hasn't quite measured up yet. So we're hopeful next time in he can, uh, he can come back a bit better. What's your plan for this prep? Many more runs or will you be looking for a spell and then return late in Belmont? Yeah, just talk to Pete in the next few days. We'll just see... Um, we know Pete's not the most patient man in the world. He likes to move them on if they're not superstars. And um, I think we need to test him out and, and see where he's at because one thing about these horses, the ones that Pete does sell, they, they've always got a few wins in them because he gets rid of them before they're cooked. So this one might be the same in 12 months. But, you know, you've got to give him a chance. He's, his form's been very consistent. We mentioned Belmont just a little bit earlier there. One of the Belmont specialists from last season, Galaxy Sun. I know you've got a bit of a soft spot for this galloper. Going around today, second up, what can we expect? Yeah, his condition's good. Um, apprentice race, so it'll be uh, it'll be an interesting sort of uh, inter interesting little competition for them all. So he's probably not quite ready yet. We're getting him ready for Belmont, but he he can run on if they're uh, if they're able to get home. Best of luck in that, and well done on the win. Thank you. With Clint on some Porter now, Clint, uh, you'd be pretty happy to get the win there. Yeah, that was good. Oh, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> that was good. Um, he performed good and got the job done. Were you confident that you were going to be able to chase the leader? Yeah, I was travelling strong to the straight. Um, the the one that was in front didn't look like he was going as good as I was, but yeah, he chased him down. Had to change the whip down the straight? Yeah, he was um, laying in a little bit, moving around. I thought I'd keep him straight. Does he feel like he wants more ground? Yeah, he probably could get a little bit more ground. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah, he could definitely get a bit more ground. Looking forward to the Apprentices Challenge? Yeah, definitely. Good luck, mate. Well done. Thank you.